Okay, so in the previous video we created permissions. Now let's work with edit and delete. So first I'm going to open the VS code and let's navigate in the road index because I'm going to copy the links we have here. So here we have, also let's copy this all table data cell and now let's navigate in the permission index and when we have the table data cell for edit and delete I'm going to, to replace that with what we copy from roles change the route to be permissions and here we say permissions edit and pass here the permission not the role and the same to this one we have the permission here because we make a v if perm v4 permission in permissions and here we have the edit and delete good now let's open let's save this and let's open the permission controller Here we have the create, store, and now let's work. Let's remove this show. We don't need that. Let's work with the edit. Here we have the string we can use in the previous with a role. I have used this ID. Now I'm going to use the route model binding. So let's say permission here and import the spotty model and say dollar sign permission. And now I'm going to let's uh, re add the return type to be inertia response. Okay, and then let's return that. So let's return inertia render. And the component is going to be inside the admin slash permissions slash edit and we need to add the permission prop so let's say here permission and now let's use the permission resource so I'm going to say new permission resource and pass in here dollar sign permission the permission we get with a request okay pass here that and now let's say okay now let's create this edit page so I'm going to open files and inside the resources JS pages admin permission let's save the create as a so I'm going to save this as edit click OK and now we are in the edit the first thing we need to do is let's define the probe. So I'm going to say define probe. We're going to be an object and the name of the probe is permission, which is going to be type uh, object and required. To be true okay and also let's create a constant for props so we'll say constant props and it's going to be equal with the defined props okay then here I'm going to add props dot permissions dot name like this then update permission let's say on the title okay back is okay also let's say update permission here now we need to change the form 
So here we say submit.prevent and then form post, but we are going to update, so we're going to say form put permission permissions update. And we need to add here the permission dot ID. Okay, then we are okay. Just say update on the button and let's save it. And let's see now what we get. So here we have permissions and edit and delete. If I click to this, create or to delete user. Yeah, we have here delete user. Very good. Okay, now let's work with the update method. Okay, so here I'm going to use the same request we have used for the store. So I'm going to say create permission request. Okay, and also let's use the route model binding. So I'm going to use permission and dollar sign permission here. And now let's say dollar sign permission call the update and pass in here the request validated like this and then let's uh, return to the route permissions index like this and also let's add the return type to be redirect response okay save this and now if i refresh let's go back and see again so let's say for the edit user yeah here we have the edit user here and let's say now uh updated and i click the update and yeah, we have updated this uh, to the same for the delete. Updated, update, and of course it's updated and it's updated. Good. Let's remove and now let's work with the delete. Okay. So for the delete, also I'm going to use the route model binding and say permission, dollar sign permission and delete now, dollar sign permission, delete. And let's do the same, let's return the permission index or because we are in the permissions here, just we need to return back. Sorry for that, so return back. And let's save and let's go and refresh, I click delete, deleted, delete, deleted, and so on. Okay, friends, so that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.